Okay, we're going to go through the computer screen for the body plasmography. So right here, I've already entered my patient data. My oxygen is turned on. My patient is locked in the box now. I've already done my patient education. So we're going to go pulmonary function test, then go to number three, plasmography. And this screen comes up. And you notice I have this on baseline. So in order to start the data collection, I need to hit F1. Okay, go ahead and put your nose clips on. Put the mouthpiece on and start breathing. I hit F1. You notice resting breathing, she needs to take more than three breaths. A red dotted line will appear when it's ready to collect the data. I must hit F1 at that time. It doesn't have to be precise, just after that. Okay, red line appeared. Okay, start panting. F1. Keep going, doing good, doing good, doing good. Keep going, doing good. Okay, big breath in. F1. And out. Blow, 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 big blow, 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 a little bit longer, a little bit longer, a little bit longer. Okay, big breath in. And in test. Okay, take your mouth off. All right, no, no error messages. <laughs> okay, that is how we do the PFT. I did it on pre before so you could have a clean screen to see this one. Uh, if you see her FVC and everything, all of it comes in pretty good. Her FVC is 117% of normal. Um, but other than that, that is the technique and the computer screen of doing a PFT. You need to do anywhere from three to five of these maneuvers and then pick the best ones.